Now I realize that mindset is so important in everything that you do. If you don't have the proper mindset, if you don't believe that you, regardless if you believe that you're the best at something or you're not, if you don't believe in internally in your own mind, that you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to, you could overcome all things, you're never going to. You need to go throughout life saying, no matter what is gonna hit me, I am bigger than it and I'm able to overcome it. And have the mindset that you're teachable always, the growth mindset. You can always learn, you can always expand, you can always become more. When you are fixed in your mindset and you don't believe that you can grow, and you shut people out for trying to teach you things, there's no opportunity for growth in life. No matter how much you know, there's someone that knows more than you. No matter how much you have, there's someone who has more than you. You need to have the right mindset going throughout your life. Also, you need to be surrounded by the right people throughout your whole life. People and things are gonna come and go. That's life, that's how it goes. That's what I've been learning. Some things and some people are meant to stay and some are meant to go. Never hold on to the things and the people that are meant to go because then it will drag you back and bring you down. It can also be toxic. And I realize what I'm about to say might trigger some people and sound like an asshole. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Rude, but it's the, it's the truth. You always need to surround yourself with people that are either at the same level than you or at the level that you want to go to a book. Because they're going to teach you things, they're going to show you things, they're going to tell you things, and they're going to push you to new levels of where you want to go. Versus if you're hanging around constantly 24-7, hanging around with people that are either at your same level or below you, it's almost like you're teaching them. There's, there's, a, there's a saying that if you're in the room and you're the smartest one and everyone's asking you questions, you're in the wrong room. You need to always be in the room, strive to be in the rooms that you're learning from other people, you're taking notes from other people because they're above. You're at a level that you want to reach. Not saying that they're better than you, probably are though, but surround yourself with people who are gonna push you and who you can learn from. And always know that you are always learning. You're never not learning. The minute that you stop learning is the minute that you stop progressing in life and that you start dying or declining in life. And that's where you go backwards and you don't wanna be in that position. Surgery also taught me about friends and family who are really there for you. When you're going through tough, tough times, there's gonna be people who you thought were your friends, but who actually weren't. You need to know, you need to have a tight, small circle. It's good to know a lot of people, I believe, at this moment in my life. And obviously, opinions can change. I could say something right now to you guys, and then in three years, I think the exact opposite thing. But at this point right now, I think it's cool to know a lot of people have a great network, but keep your keep your circle close. Keep your circle really close. I've been realizing the more, the more success, the more fame, the more heightened lifestyle, people get, the smaller their circle becomes. You can see this with Kevin Hart, Grant Cardone, big, big people like this, Drake, musicians, singers, entrepreneurs, very, very wealthy people, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos. Their circles are so, so small. They have who they want. Thomas, I think, uh, who said this? Yeah, Andrew Tate once said this, it's that he's got everything that he could want in life. So if he's gonna go out and meet someone at this point in his life, like today, where he is, what benefit do you bring him? What benefit do you bring people when going into their life? You have to be able to have a tool, have an asset, have a piece of knowledge to be able to provide something to them. God, higher power, energy in the universe. Every day is not guaranteed. You wake up and you go about life. I have started to prioritize family and experiences more than working 24 seven hard as shit. I realized that throughout the surgery, experiences and family and friends are the most important things, at least to me, and those should be prioritized because at the end, when you die, when you go in your coffin, you don't bring anything with you. Any of that money, any of the riches, not even the family that you have. So, although I do think that it's extremely important to build an empire and to have success and to have money to provide for your family and go on crazy experiences, I think that being able to be with your family and friends, above all, is top priority, at least for me. And just being present in the moment, taking time out of your day each day to work out, to eat healthy, to be with your friends and family, to go on walks, to go on bike rides, to go surf, and spend fucking money. Spend fucking money. Make money, work your ass off to make money, 
and then dump that money into an asset that will provide you further capital, further money, further cash flow, so you don't have to work for your money. Your money starts working for you. Then you have this money, and you could start spending it on experiences, going to Ibiza, going to London, going to where, going to Italy, going on a yacht, buying booze, having a good time with your friends and, and your family, and just literally falling out in life. I think that is like extremely, extremely important, especially as you're as you're growing up, because everyone's told to save, 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 save. You're fucking saving them in the bank and there's inflation going on, your money's going down. But that's one of the biggest things I've learned is time and family, being present, and God. Always put your faith in God, always trust in God, um, even if you don't know what's happening, always, always thank God.